to my channel if you're new here welcome so today I'm going to be jumping right back into it with my June favorites I actually intended to film this before leaving for Ohio and then I stopped last minute one because um I didn't want to <laughs> and two because I knew I was going to be reading and doing a bunch of stuff on the trip and so for the half that it was going to be in the month of June I didn't want to have to put all that stuff into the July favorites because I have a feeling I'm gonna have quite a few in a few weeks for my July favorites so I just decided to postpone and I'm giving it to you guys now so I hope the wait is worth it and so with all that being said let's go ahead and jump right into it okay so as usual we're just going to start off with some makeup favorites so a product I have been loving is my Tarte Mermaid skin serum this is interesting and I really like it but I'm not gonna lie it's definitely something that I had to warm up to I actually started by getting the travel size I got it for free when I ordered from sephora.com and I started using that and I actually really liked it so I started to use the larger version and I absolutely love it so now I use this for at home and I use the travel size for whenever I travel and that is really helpful because it's in a nice plastic bottle and so it's not going to like spill anywhere and so they actually made it really nicely and the thing I love about this is how it just kind of smooths out your skin now I'm not gonna lie I'm not really a serum person I don't tend to use a bunch of serums on myself so that could play into the fact that this texture was kind of weird for me because it's not sticky but it's not smooth I don't know how to describe it but I still really like it I feel like it also kind of helps my makeup lay better and so I don't know maybe I'm just weird if you guys have used this let me know if you like it because it's definitely interesting but it's a good kind of interesting it's one that I kind of like to use more because it just is so different I guess so my next favorite has definitely gotten a lot of use and you're going to be able to tell that just by looking at it but these are my Ardell 231 lashes and I am absolutely in love with these lashes I basically use this for every makeup tutorial on myself for the month of June so that might be why some of the lashes look similar is because it's all this guy and I love them so much I feel like they're so beautiful and so I'm definitely gonna have to go back to HEB to get some more because I actually like them a lot better than I was expecting and I definitely feel like these are kind of gonna be like a staple like something I'm going to want to go back to as much as I go back to my kiss number 11 lashes so these are definitely something that I want to go repurchase because they're just a little dirty and I've been cleaning them but you know it just kind of got insane when I got to some creative makeup so I definitely need another my next favorite is actually a lip product and this is my buckle bunny beauty knockout lipstick and I actually use this for my Pam makeup tutorial and I absolutely love this lipstick It is so comfortable it is what I am wearing on my lips right now I also have another lipstick on under this just from earlier in the day but I did apply this on top and I just feel like it's absolutely gorgeous especially if you are doing a day-to-night look I feel like it's that perfect lipstick just for that transition and I absolutely adore this it's so comfortable to wear and so this has definitely become one of my favorites for the summer months my next favorite is actually a blush and I love finding blushes and just falling in love with them because I'm the kind of person who will use the same blushes over and over again like I do with lipstick typically it's my Tarte or my Lorac so the fact that I fell in love with this blush definitely says a lot and this actually does have a compact I just don't have it this is the buckle bunny beauty blush in honey bunny and I just currently have it in this makeup geek Z palette kind of thing and so I just kind of pop it in here and I was using this the entire time while we were in Ohio and I am absolutely obsessed with it. it is so gorgeous it's just a nice corally pinky shade it just creates that nice gorgeous flushed look that I want to kind of achieve in the summer months and so I've absolutely fallen in love with it my next favorite is actually over by my desk and this is my Rode mic arm I have always had this Rode NT USB microphone and this is what I use for my voiceovers and you can see in my speech jammer video how I was having to literally like hold it up the entire time and my arm actually came in the day after I filmed that video but it was kind of getting to the point where I really needed to film that video so I just didn't want to wait anymore and so I finally got the arm and it is so amazing because it's so flexible and you can move it how you need to this is one that I know a lot of gamers use and it is absolutely amazing the quality is just perfect and so I'm really happy I got this because it just makes filming my voiceover so much easier because it creates more consistency in the sound so it's not close up one moment and then really far away the next it definitely keeps it consistent because it's at a steady pace with my voice and where my mouth is and so I 
really like it and especially if you get the NT USB from Rode I would recommend just getting this arm while you're at it because chances are you're probably gonna need it at some point or you're gonna want an arm and this was made specifically to go with it you can use it with other microphones like I know people use it with their blue mic but I personally like pairing it with my microphone so I really like it and if you guys are in need of looking for an arm I would highly suggest investing in this I believe it was like a hundred dollars something like that I know that's more expensive than ones that you can get for 25 but the last thing I want is while I'm filming my voice over for my mic to suddenly collapse and break this incredibly expensive microphone and this is really nice and smooth and so I just absolutely love it and I'm so happy I have that now and my next favorites are book favorites okay so I'm just gonna prepare y'all July is absolutely insane with books because the way my trip was is we ended up leaving at the very end of June and we came back in the beginning of July so during that time span I read a lot of books. I read how many was it? I believe I read seven books within the span of a week and two days, um, which is kind of crazy, but that's what I was doing because we drove to Ohio, so that's a two-day drive, and then a two-day drive back, and so I would read a book in a day and a half, and so I ended up having to buy more books while we were in Ohio, so it's just insane, but I love it so much, so just saying, I only have two for the month of June because the others are July favorites, um, some of them at least, the ones that deserve to be favorites. Anyways, this is Bright Burns the Night, this is by Sarah B. Larson, and I actually read the first book last year when it came out, and I believe I actually had that in a favorites video, and so this is the sequel, and so it became a favorite because I liked it so much. I actually wish that they would have extended it to three books, only because I don't know some of the content that they could have added into it, but the book was amazing and steadily paced the entire time until a lot of books, it kind of just runs really fast at the very end. And unfortunately, this book did that too, where it was a very steady pace and I loved it so much. And then at the end, I felt like it was kind of rushed, which I can't blame authors when that happens because you know you have a due date and everything, but it is to the point where I kind of wish that there could have just been a third book, just so it wasn't so sped up the entire time. But nonetheless, it was absolutely amazing and just as good as the first one. And so I really liked it. And if you guys don't know anything about this book, it's kind of a loose retelling of Swan Lake. And so I really like that because, you know, it's just very adventurous and fun and, you know, the kind of book that I like. So I absolutely love this. And my last book favorite for the month of June is A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Moss. And this is actually a novella for her Court of Thorns and Roses series. And obviously it's not as long as the other books that she's written or just other books in general, but it is because it's a novella. It's kind of in between a novella and a book. It's like that pretty in between stage because I do like how it was a little bit longer. I don't personally like when authors have to cut things short just because of a limitation and so I personally like when they can actually fully embellish the story because you know it adds more detail and it helps create you know imagery in the reader's mind and I really appreciate that and I really love this. It personally and this isn't saying anything bad, but out of the Court of Thorns and Roses series, my favorite is A Court of Mist and Fury, and then A Court of Thorns and Roses, and then A Court of, which one is it? Wings and Ruin. And then I would say this one, but that's also because it's a novella. There's not a huge, like, story going on. It's kind of just filling in the blank before the next series, and so... I mean, I felt like it did a really good job. It did its job. So I really absolutely loved it and I would definitely recommend it if you like any, you know, fantasyful books or if you're just a fan of Sarah J Maas. I'm sweating because I've been out all day and I didn't really use powder, so yay. So my next two favorites are actually musical soundtracks and that is because whenever I really got into these it was because the Tonys just finished up so I got to do a little bit more research because of that. So my first musical favorite is Mean Girls on Broadway and I absolutely loved this. If you guys have heard the soundtrack I'm sure you like it too and a great thing about this is I feel like every time I listen to it I just hear other musicals in the midst of this musical composition and it's literally because I will hear a song and I'm like oh that sounds like Book of 
Mormon. Oh, that sounds like Mamma Mia. Oh, that sounds like Wicked. Oh, that sounds like Be More Chill. Oh, that sounds like Miss Saigon. Like, I, I just hear so many musicals in this one musical, and it's absolutely amazing, and I love it so much because it's so much fun. So if you guys have heard any of the songs from that musical, do me a favor and comment down below one song that you feel like kind of matches up with another song from another musical. So for example, I would personally say from Mean Girls, Stop sounds a lot like Turn It Off from Book of Mormon. I feel like a lot of people have caught on to that one specifically, but just to give you guys an idea, I feel like that is one that you definitely hear a correlation between both the message of the song and the way it was composed. So I absolutely love finding like that those little parallels between musicals. So I absolutely love that. And my last musical favorite is Once on This Island on Broadway. I fell in love with this musical. It is so amazing. I get a lot of Moana and Little Mermaid vibes from this. It is so good and it definitely has kind of a plot twist and I haven't been able to see this live so I'm definitely trying to get the story through the musical and just through the songs and I really like it so far and it definitely has a big plot twist at the end but I just fell in love with the storytelling and just the composition and the instruments, it's so amazing and I definitely love it and I would definitely suggest you guys check it out. And my last favorite is actually a song from a TV show. Now, this is something that I watched like the first episode of whenever it premiered like apparently three years ago, which it, to me it feels like, you know, maybe a year or two ago, but it's been like three years. And this is that Tangled TV show. It's whenever they brought back all of the actors like Zachary Levi and um, Mandy Moore and they just decided to continue the Rapunzel story through a TV show, which I think is cool. The animation is definitely different, which I think is the only thing that kind of like holds me back from like properly enjoying it. But they have guest star Jeremy Jordan as one of the reoccurring characters and he plays a character named Varian. And I'm just saying you guys, Jeremy Jordan has, in my opinion, the best voice on earth. I just feel like every note comes from the soul and it's so, so amazing. So he has got a few really good songs throughout the TV series that I've just heard via YouTube and first of all, I just think it's amazing that Alan Menken literally writes songs for Jeremy's voice because Jeremy has such an amazing voice. Like you can just tell if you listen to Jeremy Jordan all the time that these songs were written for his voice and that just makes my heart all fuzzy because he has such a good voice. Anyways, he sings this song along with all of the other main characters and it's called Ready As I'll Ever Be and it is so, so good. And I think he also has another one, it's called like Make You Proud. Yeah, I think it's called Make You Proud and he also has a reprise of that as well. All three songs, he just always hits those notes and honestly I feel like I like these songs the most because Jeremy Jordan is singing them. Like I don't always even associate them with Tangled the TV series, I just see it as Jeremy Jordan being an amazing singer and person as he always is. So I love it so much. I highly suggest you guys check it out. Once again, I will leave all the links in the description box below if I can find them. Usually I can. If not, I try and find similar things because I understand the frustration of the internet being too big and my abilities being too small. So I try and help you guys out as much as possible. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for my favorites for the month of June. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Also, do not forget to turn on the notifications so you can get notified whenever I upload a video because I know YouTube is kind of being weird and like hiding people's videos under the rug. And I feel like if you subscribe to my channel, you want to see my videos. So, you know, turn on your notifications. See what it's like to keep up with my um, fun uploading schedule and if you don't like it turn it off I, I it's fine I, I I understand that notifications can be kind of annoying especially if you have notifications on for every other youtuber so it's whatever your heart desires anyways thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it with all that being said I will see you guys in the next one bye